when we're working on something, we're on a strict time schedule. The ship has to get out or underway, so the sooner we can get it done, the sooner we can turn it over to the fleet. The voyage repair team, we work all ray equipment, which is aircraft launch and recovery equipment. At any notice, we are called in to repair whatever, whether it be the catapult or the arresting gear. When they go down, then they hinder the mission. VRT does jobs that uh, ship's force are not capable of doing. They have more experience and they can do it much faster than ship's force can. We take care of the depot level repairs on board the ship, but also provide a little bit of relief for the ship's force. They just come back from deployment, they just served nine months at sea, then they still have maintenance. The maintenance never goes away. When we come aboard, they get to relax because they know that we're going to put it right back together, perfect for them. So all they got to do is bring up air and hydraulic and steam and, and go ahead and start operating. I've never seen an aircraft carrier other than on TV until I started working here. Um, and to see what, what actually goes on and what needs to be done just to get a plane on and off the deck. The thing that I like the most about it is knowing that the stuff that we work on, the airplanes launch from it or the airplanes land on it. Not many people can say they do that. You look at the big umbrella of the Voyage Repair, we're made up into two major divisions. We have our support group and our production group. Okay, the production group is made up of blue collar employees. They're the tradesmen, they're the craftsmen, they're the artisan, and I call them the subject matter experts. We also have the support group. So our planner and estimators, our material expediters, our managers, our senior managers, are all somewhat off the floor and have all experienced the all ray at the blue collar level. About 80 to 90 percent of us are prior military. So we all been working shoulder and shoulder for years. You're not going to find too many people that'll go any place, do anything, work anywhere, anytime, in any place. You have a core group of team wanting to service the fleet. They really want to be there. They're servicing their customer. Our customer is the, the U.S. Navy fleet. So it means a great deal to us to get it up and running so we still have to function out before we even pull out. Day one, we're going to be launching recovering aircraft, so it'll be ready to rock. We ensure the, you know, the functionality of the carrier and, uh, you know, we keep things up and running. Each time we have a job, we try to make it better. It's a learned situation to weigh in that this time we did it this way. Can we cut the hours? Can we cut the time? Can we do more with less? We have continuous process improvement going all the time. We're pushing our folks to always be looking for what is it going to take to make this uh, better, quicker, faster. We have the parts already ready when it's time to put, you know, put it together then the turnaround time is a lot faster. Get this material, get it out to the ship, making sure you know the ship get out on time to support the mission. That's what we all here for. There's a willingness between the different trades to work together. Without that, we couldn't accomplish the job that we do. Team is definitely the word. Uh, we definitely uh, work as a team. That's If one person's not doing their part on the team, it, it, it hurts the other. The VRT is critical to the mission because we have no boundaries. We have no inhibitions. We have nothing but loyalty to the fleet. It's something about uh, the end result. And, and, and the end result is to make sure that aircraft is able to safely launch or safely recover so that the sailors can do their mission keeping us free and safe. The mission of an aircraft carrier is launch and cover aircraft. So, I mean, we, uh, we're it. I mean, uh, it's just very vital we pull out with four wires and four catapults. If we need to launch an unexpected number of jets at a drop of a hat, we're ready, no, no matter what. So it's pretty vital. You know, you always think of our troops as you know, very important people. You have a lot of respect for them, what they do, going out there and doing that every day. And actually be able to help them get done what they need to get done and get through their daily tasks, it's a good feeling.